Hey guys, today I'm reviewing my Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max. I have had this over a year. I use it all the time. I love this thing. I do have some things that I feel like I should warn you about, give you tips on. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna give you my full review on it after using it a ton over a year. I'm gonna talk about how to use it and also give my tips. All right, let's go straight into it. I got this one because I was in the market for a cordless vacuum and then I saw an ad or something for this one and it's marketed as a wet vacuum that you can also use on area rugs. So it vacuums, it mops, and it refreshes, I guess is what it says, your area rugs. And I was like, oh my goodness, I need this. My whole house is laminate about my whole house. I have some tile in the kitchen and the bathrooms. And then I just have a few area rugs around the house. So I didn't have a carpet shampoo or anything. I would either have to rent something or just figure something out if I wanted to deep clean my rugs. And I also am someone who hates mopping. So the idea of a cordless vacuum that also mops was just like, oh my goodness, I needed this, right? So I got it and it has been really, really great. It does an absolutely great quick clean. So in the kitchen, if you know it's been a couple days, the kitchen needs a quick mop, I can whip this bad boy out and it will vacuum and mop at the same time. It does a really nice vacuum, it has a really nice suction, which I was a little worried about since it is cordless. It has a really great suction. It really gets a lot of the crumbs and stuff up. It does a nice mop. So when I'm mopping the kitchen, it will give everything a nice quick clean. If there's anything like really sticky or just like crusty on there, it might get it, it might leave it. So you can go over it more than once um, and see if that helps. Otherwise, I'll do the whole kitchen with this and then I might go back with like a sponge or something just to get those hard spots off of the floor. Now, I was also really impressed on what a good job it does with my rugs. This is not a true shampooer. And so if you're looking for a true carpet cleaner shampooer, this is not your thing. But you can use it on your rugs. It refreshes the rugs, I think is how it's marketed. So it will take a lot of the dirt and gunk off of your rugs. It will definitely give them a really nice clean. This formula is safe to use on rugs. My rugs do look visibly cleaner after I use my Bissell Crosswave. I will say on my thicker rugs, like this one, <laughs> I do have to use two arms when doing it. I just kind of have to muscle it a little bit. It's not bad or anything, but that's just to keep in mind if you do have thick rugs. On my thinner rugs, it's totally fine. It, it's an easy glide. But like I said, it's not a true rug deep cleaner shampooer. So if you really want your rug to have a deep clean, I would use something else for that. If you have some tough stains, this probably won't get it out. What this will get out is some general dirt, grime, dust, oil, that kind of thing. Okay, let's talk about how it works. So you fill it up using the tank back here. Take out the tank, fill it up. There are two different tick marks, so if you're doing a smaller area, maybe just the kitchen, you can use less water and formula. If you have a bigger area, like you're kind of trying to do your whole house, you can just go ahead, fill it all up to the top water and formula tick marks. Then just put your water tank back in, put on your roller and the cover, and you are ready to go. You just use your foot to tilt it backwards, put the power button on, and then you'll have two options. You'll have hard floors or rugs, so put it on the correct mode. And then to release the water, you just hold down the handle. And I usually, while I'm going forward, I release the water and then I don't press it and just pull it back. You don't need to hold it down the entire time or anything. So when you're pulling it back, you're actually drying it, which is great. This vacuum will run up to 30 minutes. So keep that in mind when you're deciding what areas you want to do. It will self clean. I would definitely do that because your brush can get pretty dirty. Then you can just let your brush dry right there. You're gonna need to empty your dirty tank. 
It does have this thing on here where it collects the solids. And so that's something that can just be emptied into the trash can. And then you can empty your dirty water where you think it's appropriate. I think a lot of people empty that into the toilets. Okay, here are my tips. When you are filling up your water tank, always fill up with water and then formula. If you put the formula in and then try to do the water, it's gonna bubble up and you're not gonna be able to get the amount of water in that you need to. So always water and then formula. I would always just use their formula that is made for this vacuum. I wouldn't try to DIY anything. Actually, I did once. I tried to just put some like Dawn and water in there. It totally foamed and did not work correctly. Their formula is not that bad. It's not that expensive or anything. So I would just <laughs> use the correct formula that is meant to go with this. Make sure your water tank nozzle is on correctly. If you don't have this screwed on right, you're gonna leak everywhere. I learned that the hard way. So if you are having random leaking as soon as you're starting or something, I would check your nozzle. And also just always use extra care when screwing this nozzle on because you don't want to waste a bunch of formula. If you are mopping your kitchen or somewhere and you notice your ground is really wet, just go over everything a couple times without holding down the liquid button. That way the brush will just kind of dry everything and suck everything up. To get the most bang for your buck when you are washing your rugs, I would go multiple directions on your rugs. That way the bristles are being cleaned in different directions. So go forward, go sideways, maybe go diagonal. That way all the angles of your bristles are being cleaned. You'll see a big difference if you do this. If you notice that hair is being wrapped around your brush, that's happened to me a couple of times. Apparently I shed a lot. You can just use some scissors to just snip the hair off and then it'll clean fine. Okay, that is my review and tips of the Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max. I hope it was helpful to you if you're thinking of getting it or if you already had it and needed some tips or troubleshooting. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, anything specific you want to know, just leave them in the comments section. I try to be really good about answering my comments. So I'd love to help you out. If you are new to my channel, I would just love if you subscribed. I do product reviews and I also do homemaking videos and I would love for you to join my YouTube fam. Be sure to check out my other social media accounts. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and I will see you in my next one.